With the release of the M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBook Pros, I know a lot of my fellow creators and video editors out there, you, yes you, are working directly on your amazing new laptops at co-working spaces, coffee shops, on your couch, in your studio, maybe even on a plane. And you know what? Sometimes dragging out that stupid mouse is just a royal pain in the butt. Plus it's loud. Does anyone really enjoy that clicking sound? If you can block that sound out, I applaud you. You're lucky because I can't. Now I know a lot of you are ride or die with your Logitech MX Master Mice. Mouses, mouses, whatever. And I don't blame you. They're comfortable, they're chock full of programmable buttons, and I guess they look kind of sort of cool. Now I'm not trying to throw shade, but I am admittedly a bit of a magic trackpad snob. I tried the MX Master and couldn't get past the clicking, so much clicking. And that's why I wanted to espouse to all of you the virtues of editing in Final Cut Pro with the Magic Trackpad. Now you don't have to be a MacBook Pro editor to enjoy the Magic Trackpad. Maybe you're going to buy a Mac Mini or an iMac or even a Mac Pro. And when you're filling up your Apple shopping cart with all kinds of goodies and you get to this point in the computer purchasing process, stop choosing the Magic Mouse 2 and get the dang Magic Trackpad 2. This will allow you to use the Magic Trackpad on your MacBook Pro and with your desktop. Thanks Apple. So why is the Magic Trackpad so awesome for video editing in Final Cut Pro? Three words, my friends, three finger drag. That's right, three finger drag. The trackpad gesture that's gonna make you love your Magic Trackpad and neglect your poor little sad little lonely mouse. And once I go over this one, you're probably just gonna click out of the video and immediately start using it and ignore the other cool gestures the Magic Trackpad can do specifically for Final Cut Pro. So don't stop watching, just stay right there. You'll have plenty of time to discover the magic of the Magic Trackpad. So what's so great about three finger drag? Well, it turns one of the gestures for the trackpad from an inconvenient and uncomfortable tool into something truly breathtaking. Yeah, he really is breathtaking. Okay, maybe not breathtaking. Well, it turns one of the trackpad gestures from an inconvenient and uncomfortable tool into something truly special. Allow me to demonstrate. When you need to click and drag, most of us will click and hold down on the trackpad with our thumb and then use our index finger to drag whatever we're dragging from where it is to where we want it to be. I like to call this the classic drag. Others use the two-handed approach. You click with the index finger or thumb of one hand and drag with the index finger of another. I call this old chestnut the two-handed drag. But what if I told you there was another way? And it was called the five-point palm exploding heart technique. Nope. Sorry, it's not called the five point palm exploding heart technique. Got a little excited there. I only teach that to Premiere Pro editors and it's the first and last thing they learn because who the hell would ever edit in Premiere Pro? I'm kidding. Easy everyone. I'm not trying to start an NLE war. Premiere Pro is a fine application. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, the magic trackpad. But what if I told you there was another way, and it was called three finger drag. With this feature enabled, and I'll show you how to do that momentarily, you can save yourself one step in the process of clicking and dragging. You see, with the classic drag and the two handed drag, you have to actually click the trackpad, and then, and only then, can you drag. But with three finger drag, you don't have to click. You just place three fingers on the trackpad, and start dragging. Three fingertips on this magical surface equals a click. Do you understand what I'm saying? It reduces the entire process to just one single action to do a slightly complicated thing. And imagine how many times a day you're clicking and dragging stuff around your computer. How much time would you save by doing this with one step instead of two? I'm guessing probably like four seconds. Four seconds! You can't argue with that. Now here's the real beauty of it. With three finger drag, you can just drag your stuff around until your heart's content because you can repeatedly lift your three fingertips off the surface of the trackpad to move items across long distances. No more are the days when you run out of room to drag something and have to do some weird, awkward thing to try to continue your drag. With a mouse, you have to keep lifting it up in place or set the cursor speed so high that the smallest movements of the mouse moves objects all the way across the screen. But who wants that kind of workaround when with a little focus and discipline, you can unlock the magical awe and wonder that is three finger drag. You know what? Maybe you're not ready for this yet. It's just, this just, just has to be too much. Teach me. I can do it. Okay, I'll show you. To enable three finger drag on your Mac, simply click on the Apple in the upper left-hand corner of your screen 
and choose system preferences. Now, some of you are jumping ahead. I just need to click on the trackpad and I'm home free. And that's where you're wrong. Oh, so wrong. Click on accessibility and then scroll down to pointer control and then click on trackpad options and then click the enable dragging box and then click on the drop down menu next to it and choose three finger drag. And there you have it. Now, that wasn't easy. The journey was perilous. It was grueling and even soul crushing. Why on earth would Apple bury this magical feature so far down into the system preferences? So here's what I think Apple did. They hid this feature so that only a select few, the chosen ones, could find it and use it. And you, yes you, are one of the chosen ones. All right, that was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What's, what's that? Oh, the other gestures? Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's look at the other gestures that you can use with your Magic Trackpad and Final Cut Pro. First, there's swiping. In the timeline, for example, you can swipe with two fingers to scroll left, right, up, and down, which I know is like the basic thing that you can pretty much do with every app when you're using the Magic Trackpad. Nothing too special there. But hold on, there's more. Lots more. You can easily right click by clicking with two fingers on your Magic Trackpad. If you have secondary click enabled in your trackpad preferences, in system preferences, you can tap with two fingers to do a right click with your Magic Trackpad. If you want to zoom in and out of your timeline, you can use pinch to zoom, something we're all used to using on our iPhones and iPads, so that shouldn't be too hard for you to use from time to time. And if you're ever zoomed in really far in your timeline and you want to quickly be able to zoom out to fit your entire timeline in the timeline window, window, just double tap your magic trackpad with two fingers and it will immediately zoom out to fit. Now that, my friends, is magic. Now there's one other gesture that's specific to the trackpad in Final Cut Pro, but I'm not going to bother to tell you about it because it means disabling three finger drag. And you better not even be thinking about doing that. But I'll drop a link in the description to the Apple document that shows all the trackpad gestures for Final Cut Pro if you're curious to see what that last gesture is. It's kind of cool, but not something that I would really use very often. Oh, I almost forgot. There's uh, one other thing. If you regularly use the three finger swipe up gesture on your Magic Trackpad to access mission control, enabling three finger drag means that that gesture will now require you to swipe up with four fingers to access mission control. So don't get mad at me like I didn't tell you, okay? Okay, so if you're tired of your old Magic Mouse in your desktop configuration and all of these gestures sound like they'd greatly improve your workflow, ditch the Magic Mouse like I did and snag a Magic Trackpad 2. For me, the trackpad is just easier to use. It's more comfortable. I can edit for longer stretches of time without any discomfort. Personally, I think it's the best input device out there. If you're already using the trackpad all the time because you edit on a Mac notebook, take some time to learn these gestures and unlock the magic of your Magic Trackpad when paired with Final Cut Pro. One thing I will say about the mouse, for a lot of you doing very intricate work like in graphic design apps or maybe After Effects or Cinema 4D, you may need the precision of the mouse. I, I get it, but maybe you just end up having both at your workstation. The mouse is handy for the precision work and the trackpad for everything else. And then everybody wins. So that's all I've got, folks. Learn those gestures and continue to level up to power user in Final Cut Pro. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And, and, and until the next one, I'll see y'all soon.